do it again. This is it for Florida and for Miami. They play a strictly pass defense. Here with Bill Ram right by a charging man and he's going to get inside the 10. Down to the 5. First down on goal to goal, Florida. Ran right by a blitzing man. And Charlie Pell with the clock. Okay, let's get it going. So they move the sticks, they'll start the clock. Jim, the outside man that blitzed, I didn't get his number. Watch this, he goes right by Kerwin Bell. Here he is, right on the outside. That's number 90, Victor Morris. He's avoiding the blocker in the Kerwin Bell. Still, he's going for the first down. He knows he has to get the, try to get at least the first down, hoping for the touchdown. 47 seconds left. First down and goal to go from the five. Kerwin Bell looking good. He's got a man. Neal, touchdown! With 41 seconds to go. Kerwin Bell throws his first touchdown pass of his career, and it may have broken the longest winning streak in the nation of Miami. Florida again tonight. Florida playing under the shadow of the resignation by their coach Charlie Bell. At the moment, lead by one point. 36 seconds left. The ball is at the 27. Kozar has to go downfield. Goes downfield for Willie Smith. Smith stops the clock inside the 40 at the 36 with 28 seconds left. Kozar, no rush. That time has a man, yeah. Eddie Brown, stop the clock. Ward is going to blitz. Kozar, they pick up the blitz, get the ball out to Oliver. He's out of bounds inside the 15. Kozar has to be careful, can't let this ball be picked up. Oh, he's giving it to Oliver. And Oliver gets it right in front of the goal post with 10 or 12 seconds to go. Over yet, Florida hasn't lost it yet. At the moment, they lead by a point. <laughs> He's going to go in the end zone, and back to the end zone is Eddie Brown. Touchdown. He's got the touchdown. <laughs> so I wasn't right. Jimmy Johnson and his team were. Eddie Brown with his first touchdown catch of the year. And that ball was right on the money, and Kozar taking dead aim on the Heisman Trophy balloting, brought his team back, and for the fifth consecutive game, Miami has come from behind in the fourth quarter to go ahead, and they won them all. One second, anything can happen, but he has to be extremely happy. He's got a Kerwin Bell who has never played in a college game. He's in front of 72,000 people. The young man did not panic. He's going with a defensive secondary, Jim, with only one experienced man in the entire defensive secondary, and they did a great job, I thought. Well, this is a good football team, Miami, remember, and Florida's proven that it's a good football team. It has led several times, and now Kerwin Bell puts it up, and the ball is intercepted by Tolbert Bain. Bain down the sidelines, and everybody giving up on him because they know the game is over, but he may score, and he does. Everybody gave up because they knew it was too much. And when you see the score in the paper tomorrow, you'll think, well, Miami walloped them. But they got two touchdowns in the last seven seconds. One won the game, and the other iced the game. And it's 32 to 20, a 69-yard return <laughs> by Tobert Bain. Would you believe it for the young freshman out of Miami? Oh, Jim, and, and look at that. I guess it's proper to say the pandemonium just broke out here.